and so we are going to do more of a meditation style rather than a yoga nidra. However, we are going to be doing some restorative yoga in there as well. So for that to happen, just realise I'm covering my microphone. For that to happen, um, I would like you to lie on the floor, if you can get up on the floor, and then have your legs going over onto the couch. And this allow, but I don't want you to be at a 90 degree angle, I just want you to, your pelvis to be more like this, your legs here, your knees is meeting here. So this space here allows your groins and your hips and to be open and relax and for you to be able to, able to do big belly breaths into your root, into your base, which is really, really important at this moment in time because what we are, what we are experiencing, what's coming up, if not for you, but for your loved ones, for our whole environment is a sense of fear, a sense of anxiety. And therefore, by stabilising our core, stabilising our perineum, our root, our pelvis, it's going to give us some sense of ground. It's going to give us some sense of stability. It's going to allow our nervous system to calm down. It's going to allow our parasympathetic nervous system to come up and rise and to give us some stability and therefore to become a little bit more dominant than, than when we are, the only time it is that dominant is when we are digesting and when we are asleep. But because our adrenals are on overdrive, we need that to become more dominant now. And that is why I'm here and that is why I'm, I'm intending to serve you in any which way I can. So I would like you to get yourself in that position. If you cannot be in that position, then just be sat with a straight back. So have your bum flushed up against the seat. Have your feet firmly on the ground and have your palms on your knees and then there's no need to look at me you are in a safe sp space hopefully if you're not then you should not be playing this video if you are alone or you are with loved ones that are not ill and you can close your eyes then feel free to do so and now breathe Breathing through your mouth at first. Breathing in and out through your mouth. Breathe. 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 And then when you're ready, allow your nose to come into play. So you're breathing in and out, both from your mouth as well as your nose. And if you want to bring your arms inside your blanket, place your hands on your stomach. And if you're sat, you can place one palm inside your other palm. And there's no need to have your thumbs necessarily touching because I want your body to be relaxed. I want your body to be fully relaxed and your mind to be inside your body. So for your mind to be inside your body, I would like you to start by bringing your awareness to the very, very top of your head, to the crown of your head. And I want you to imagine, like a little gimp, that you literally step inside your skull, at the crown of your head, step inside, and allow your awareness to sink down through your skull, in front of your spine, behind your throat and into the center of your chest, your heart, the center, center of your chest. And this is often called the heart chakra or the heart energy wheel. Allow your awareness to be here. Allow your attention to be with your breath at your heart center now. Allow your attention 
to be with your breath at your heart center now. Be in this space. And allow your mind to become aware of those that are on the that are on the frontier of this virus. such as the scientists, the researchers, including the politicians and the analysis, without judgment, without blame. And then allow your mind to move from them onto others that are on the very, very front of the general public, such as the nurses, the doctors, such as the ambulances, such as the fire brigade, such as the police, such as your GPs, um, carers, um, hospitals, hospice staff. And just bring them all to mind. Perhaps you know somebody in one of those industries and then from there you can bring to mind someone else that you know or someone else that they know in one of those industries. And then bring the whole industry to mind at your heart. And the next one, so you're connecting the dots between them all. At your heart. Allow yourself to be aware of the sensation when you think of them. And allow there to be space and softness, free from judgment and discrimination. And from softness and space comes warmth. Breathing in warmth. From the care and the surface, from the care and the service that we receive from them. And the care and appreciation we have for them. This warmth in Pali is called metta, loving kindness. Allow this warmth to spread all across our chest and out. all the services, 
to all our friends, her family, to those within our confined space and to those who are not. Allow this warmth of affectionate love to fully engulf your four walls but also to those beyond, to the people on the other side of your four walls. Allowing your heart to expand out even more, allowing your sense of appreciation and gratitude to completely engulf your town, to completely engulf your city, your county, your state, your shire. So you're bringing to mind all the people behind the scenes all the drivers and the, and the people that are stocking your shelves and working in the shops, um, the security people on the door, the people that are delivering your parcels, the people that are keeping the lights on, the heating on, the Wi-Fi on, so that I can connect to you and you can connect to me. Feel that warmth of appreciation spreading further and further out. Whether you're watching this on replay, the following day or not, whenever you do watch it, regardless of the time, feel the connection of appreciation for all that is around you now. And gratitude for that which is to come. Now be aware of the sensations inside your body. The sensations as you breathe love from your heart. The sensations inside your chest to the sensations inside your belly. Your upper belly your lower belly, your hips, your groin, your pelvis, your root, your base. As you allow your breath to completely circumambulate around your whole body and you allow that to take on the form of affectionate love. So your whole body is exuding love, going out, spreading wide, spreading tall, north, south, east and west, engulfing beyond your country, beyond the waters, the seas, the ocean and touching the hearts of all.
So the sensation of warmth, love, is beyond that of your breath. And then allow it to touch the earth, the earth. So we're giving that love back to the earth. And now feel that love being returned to you from the earth. The earth. And as it returns, you feel the sensations within your body. And thus you feel somewhere your breath. If you take a deeper breath, a wider breath, a longer breath, a bigger breath, and as you allow that breath to circumambulate around your whole base, spiraling up your body, up to your heart once again. Your breath. And then be aware as to how you feel emotionally here at your heart. Bringing to mind again all those service providers feeling gratitude once again for the ones furthest away to the ones closest by, and then bring into mind all your friends and family once again to the ones furthest away, to the ones closest by, and send them all love, send them all love. As a sensation Circumambulates itself back and forth, back and forth, until you are an array of loving kindness. So before I leave you, And you take your sense of warmth out into the world. Just recall the sensations and the feelings that you feel right now. And allow it to anchor you.
so that you can come from a place of more love. More understanding. More appreciation. And more gratitude. As you begin to feel a sense of all of this within your whole body. From your feet. Into your ankles. Into your knees. Into your root. Your stomach. Your chest. Welcome yourself back into your throat, into your head. Hopefully I shall see you here tomorrow and I shall upload it so it will be ready on time for you. And again on Wednesday at um, 8 o'clock GMT.